I'm now going to show you the circothermy intensive function on the Neff oven. This is a function where you use bottom heat and the fan working together. So the fan cooks the whole product, but you've got that exceptional heat coming out of the base. So a fantastic way of saving time when you're baking. If you're making tarts or quiches, you don't have to bake blind anymore. So I've lined my fluted flan tin with my raw pastry, short crust pastry. And I'm going to put my filling directly into it. So there's no need to um, par bake your pastry at all. So no baking blind anymore, and we're still going to get nice, crispy bases um, to our tarts and flans by using this particular function. So I'm just going to press my filling. Now, the filling this is a spinach and onion quiche. Um, I've cooked off some onions and some spinach and some garlic and um, and some seasoning. So I'm just going to press that into the base of my lined tap um, flan, um, which has been lined with the pastry. So it comes up right up to the edges and it's pushed down nice and neat and nice and firm. Now I have already got in my oven my universal tray and my universal tray has already been heated. So that's been on the function, the um, circotherm intensive and it's been heated at 200 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes to get that nice and hot. So you're going to get the benefits from the pastry going straight onto the universal tray in the bottom of the oven, so you're going to get a nice crispy base to the pastry. So we're just going to pop this tart straight onto that hot universal tray. And then I'm going to add my filling, my topping to my tart. Now this is cream, eggs, and some seasoning, which I've mixed together. I find it easier to pour it in to my tart in the oven, so you haven't got any spillages trying to lift the, the tart with the liquid. It goes in quite nice and easily. Straight into the oven, just going to evenly distribute the filling on the top there of the tart. And the last thing that goes on before it starts to cook is a little bit more parmesan, just to get that nice crispy top to the flour. Tablespoons of grated parmesan that goes on the top as well. There we go. Now that is 200, that's to get that nice and hot. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to turn that down to 180 immediately as soon as the tart goes in. So, close the oven door, reduce the heat down to 180, and then I'm going to time it for 35 minutes. Now, because you've um, it is quite a long time, you have to just watch it because you can cover it for them, as I said. So the quiche is done now, so I'm just going to get it out of the oven and I'll show you how lovely and even brown it is. So on the universal tray, that's the finished spinach and onion quiche, beautifully brown and you can see the spinach just through it and you've got a nice even golden brown finish there.